Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. I decided to change it up and do my nails because you all know with this quarantine, all the nail salons are closed and so I took off my acrylic nails and I decided to do press-ons. My sister actually blessed me with these Kiss Masterpiece nails. They're like a bubble pink color and then they have some with rhinestones you know right up my alley so in this tutorial i'll be showing you exactly what comes in the kit which actually brings everything you need so in the kit you get your glue you get your all of the nails come in this plastic little case so all of the rest of the nails are in the bottom of the case right there and then the ones on the top are the show nails, but these are all the additional nails that come with it. So they come with a few extra glitter nails. And also, this also had some holographic nails that you'll see throughout the tutorial um, I won't be using. But it does come with a filer that has a nail filer and a buffer. And it looks like this. It's tiny, it's super cute. And it also comes with a cuticle pencil so what I do is I kind of just clean up around the area and one product that I always have when I do my nails is my avocado e oil and um, it doesn't come with the set but any cuticle oil will work this is the one that I love I did find it at TJ Maxx so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop all of the nails out of the little case and I'm going to separate all the crystal nails to decide which fingers I'm going to use um, to make sparkly. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then you will see me lining up the nails right in front of me like in the order of my hand position. And then I'll start picking out the matte shades which are the bubble pink colors and just fitting them to my fingers. So that's what I'll be doing right now. The nails do have number coded on the tips of the nails, so that makes it very helpful to pick um, your nails according to the numbers. So I like to look at that as well when I'm picking out my nail placement. So you will see me throughout the process of picking which nail I want for each finger um, that I will be replacing them. And I will be replacing the my pinky one in just a second because I will decide that I do not want the holographic so I went ahead and changed that up um, so now that I'm doing that I will go ahead and start the next process now that I have my nails all lined up I take the file that comes in the kit and I take the file side and I file all of my nails to get all of the oils off of them and just to get them filed for a grip for when I start to glue my nails on. And then I use the buffer side to actually file my nail nails once I have them on the tip nails. In between filing, I use my cuticle stick and I push back my cuticles. So when I put on my press-ons, they press all the way back to my cuticles. To start the nail application, I take the glue itself and I put it directly on the tip and then I put it on my finger, make sure it's lined up and it's nice and straight. What's really nice about this glue is that um, if you get some on the sides, it doesn't turn white like super glue, it stays clear, so it's easy to wipe off. You will see me struggle throughout this tutorial when I'm putting on my, um, my little diamond nails because those are a little harder to get in place. Um, but yeah, I eventually will get them all on following this step. A good tip for me is to hold the nail um, the press on nail against your nail for about 20 seconds and it will get the perfect stick to your natural nails. So 
So now before starting the other hand, I will get my cuticle cutters and I will clip around the cuticles just so that way the press on nails look natural and like they are growing from my real nails. So that's what I take my time doing at this point and I will do the same on the other hand. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and speed through this process while you listen to some music. Okay, so now that I have all the nails on, I will take the filer because on the tips of the nails, they are a little sharp from them being packaged. So I just take the buffer side and I file, oops, see? Those rhinestone nails always give me a hard time to keep on. So sometimes it takes a couple applications, but I will continue once it's dry. I did let that dry for about, 30 40 seconds and I will just go ahead and file my nails um, to make sure they're the shape that I want them and also too to make sure that they're not sharp so off camera I already cut the cuticles around this hand so ta-da they're all on, they're secure, I hope so. No, they're secure. So now I'm gonna use my Avocado E oil and I am going to be putting oil all over my nails and my hands just as if I was in a nail salon. Um, one tablet of this oil is good for all 10 of my fingers and my hands. So I just take a little squeeze on each finger and then I go in and rub the oil into my cuticles, my nails, and my hands. Now that all of my nails are on, a tip for you ladies is to get a little plastic bag and to put all of your tips inside of the bag along with the glue and your filer just in case you're out and about you have them in your purse if one pops off you could find one that fits and put another one on i mean this is the life of press on nails i also put in one of my um, cuticle oils just in case i'm somewhere and my hands look dry don't forget your glue um, and your cuticle sticks just in case but always make sure you have this with you um, because they are press on nails and they do come off that's the reality but these are my nails they look amazing they look like mine I felt like I just went to the nail salon so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always your girl dream loves you to the moon and back until my next video bye